lot for some good things. But anyways, there was a bunch of bushes, a bunch of pine needles, all kinds of crap all up in here in the cross members. So, um, eating lunch when I transferred the cab from the frame to the trailer that was kind of a pain and I was already mid process so I wasn't gonna go and get him whatever you know because once I get into something I commit so that's it that's the little doom buggy anyway so Probably gonna order some lowering shackles. Uh, take this lower leaf out down here. Um, that, so this will bring it up, I believe, two inches. So it'll lower it two inches. Um, and then that'll be another inch, so that's three inches. And then they sell uh, lowering keys, I guess, they're torque. Uh, because these are torsion bars, so I guess they're torsion keys, I guess. So, and you can go three inches lower on that. Everywhere I've read online, everything says uh, not to go any more than three inches lower. Um, I might, because these, these Bilsteins are, are too tall, you know. They only have three inches of travel at the most um, before they bottom out. And the front suspension was uh, extended all the way. So, yeah. So now I gotta load all this crap. I'm just gonna throw the seats back in here. Um, I'll probably leave this open. Uh, and then uh, I'll put this in the back. So I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna keep the whole floor. Um, and the firewall, so this way I have all this, uh, brake and steering bracketry stuff. Or if I'm just gonna cut this out, basically. You know, probably, I don't know. I don't know where I'll cut it. But I gotta get the other frame or the other body off. The, uh, other truck. And, uh, yeah. And then, uh figure out what I'm gonna do so um, this is all like plastics and crap that were good battery tray this is all the wiring harness for the engine um, hood hinges whatever shifter all this box is all nuts and bolts um, but yeah it was kind of a kind of a pain in the butt but not really. I guess it's more. I think the wiring harness was the hardest, and the dash was the hardest to get all off and to remove. More than anything else, I mean, the cab, the bed obviously came off. You know, just had to undo six bolts. So it's one, two, oh, eight bolts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Had to take off the back bumper. Um, and then the the gas neck filler neck and that was done took the rear shocks off which 
Trying to see if that shock is in here. So there's a a Bilstein 5100 broke, and you can see the rear. I think this is why it broke. You can see the hanger, the shock hanger, it's completely bent over. This side was fine. The tires are rubbing somewhere. I don't really know where they're rubbing. I mean, it's kind of close to leaf springs, but you would think the leaf spring would, wouldn't would turn or twist. Um, This one looks a lot closer and a lot wider, which tells me that whatever happened to that shock twisted this whole axle so I gotta pull when I pull all the leaf springs and everything apart I'll uh, straighten it um, oh one of the I think one of the nuts is missing on the u-bolts you can see that u-bolt I don't know where I'm at that u-bolt right there is all bent so gotta do a little fix in there uh, we're gonna uh, paint the frame um, I'll probably just pressure wash all this crap looks like I broke this connector or sensor whatever you want to call it um, it's a manual so I'm sure it's just fine I'll probably get a sensor it's probably either yeah so this is a speed sensor that's probably oh that's the four wheel drive because this is the four wheel drive lever so that tells it if it's in four wheel drive, four high, four low, whatever. And then I have all this wiry mess. Um, some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is emissions, which I'll probably just pull off. Like all these tubes. Get rid of all the emissions crap off this motor. Because the motor, the motor runs good. Um, the engine oil is really clean. Uh, it looks like they went into the transmission before because this is all, <clears throat> you know, RTV silicone, which I wouldn't recommend this stuff, but whatever. But, and the clutch feels really good. So that tells me that they probably did a clutch before because this is loose. You know, all these bolts, you can tell the bolts are all loose. It's got a new clutch line. Well, newer, I guess, or maybe not. Look, you can see 15 million hose clamps. But anyway, guys, so that is part one. So hopefully the little GoPro right here did a bunch of time lapse. Uh, I'll go through because there was a lot of stuff where we were just doing absolutely nothing, just talking, my kid and me. So because me and him are we're the ones doing the project. So, I'm going to go ahead and load all this crap. Um, I don't know what time it is. It's probably 5.30, but I'm going to load this stuff into the truck, into the cab, and then into the bed. And uh, give the local cats, I guess, a place to sleep. So, anyway, and the body mounts are good. So, because this is a California truck, so. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments below if you're excited for this. Or if you're not, um, if you're not, whatever, I can't please everybody. But if you are, let me know, be part of it, you know, comment, say whatever you want. You can say, why did you do that, you idiot? I don't care. So, alright guys, guys, cool, later.